going to stop before um, Sonny Smith came up and did the impartation. The worship session was the time of impartation. If you were uh, alive enough, by now you might have already been receiving instruction from Tony why Sonny Smith was ministering. And after we got Prophet to come up, Prophet JDP will come up. But prior before that, we've been waiting for. Can you hear on that sound, please? We've been waiting for Michael say to be around. He's supposed to set the pace for Prophet. Can you help me appreciate Michael Say he just came in now? Thank you so much. But he's the one that came from here to start this up. All of our children came all the way from Google and I do. If you have thought that book before, you think that he sacrificed a lot to be here. Thank you so much for coming. And also let me appreciate my brother. I appreciate that I'm going to be together in love there, Lord. Just the Lord. This is a part of the strong man. We have love there. Love there is a hard ground. We've been going for a long time. Just in order to see how we can be able to use apostolic tools to bring to the hard ground. And they show you that coming to power. And also, I saw my senior brother, Pastor Samuel Joakapo. He just went out today. He's coming back. Okay. And uh, also, our host, I think today is his birthday, Priest. Uh, Chris O'Pate is just up and down, I don't know what's going to start for him. I mean, he's not stable at all. Please, uh, help me appreciate him, I mean, for some kids over here. Today is his birthday. And I believe that instead of, instead of him snapping pictures and going to eat food, he decided to put up his summit. We are God can be exalted and keep it to respect him. Why he called me and came to eat? Yesterday was my birthday. Why he called me and came to eat? I said, well, I was supposed to go for a retreat, but then we pass by before we see how we can advance. Thank you so much for celebrating your birthday in a better way. You know. Um, Apostle started with a very hard time. You know, while he began speaking, I was wondering, what would I say again? And I knew the prophet was here, he also wanted to say it. Is that Samuel? Wow, my friend Samuel is there. You know, thank you for coming. I mean, if the prophet is here, you wonder also what would he say? You know, he started by giving strong meat. He was thinking about the need for us to be able to feed upon the Christ if he was advanced in the body of Christ and if he was come to maturity. When you begin the journey in God, you come to a point where you realize that as though you were scammed by your Sunday school teachers, you were scammed by your pastor, you were even scammed by the school of ministry you are there because they did their best to educate your mind. You had a lot of lecture books, but when you return back, when the challenges of life declared you, what life was looking for was the substance of the reality of that which you were taught. And that was what no man can give to you. And that became the challenge of another believer. His inability to be able to translate the knowledge that he was giving you to, in school, in church, to become a substance of his own reality. And that became the challenge to get your thoughts. And for us to be able to help go beyond that level of challenge, we have to understand that one of the things that we may not talk was how to be able to feed upon the class. That no matter how much more the educational system where we should record God was, it was deficient enough to be able to reveal God for us. Knowing fully well that God Himself can never be taught, He can only be revealed. And the only way the revelation of Jesus Christ can come to you is when you are born upon with Him sufficiently well. And it is almost impossible for you to be able to know God if you don't pass through the gateway which is Christ Jesus himself. And 
And that is why a lot of believers upon the face of the earth today do not know God. The simple reason is because they were taught according to the patterns of men, but they neglected the substance of reality. Of course, before you even join to be able to encounter the spirit and the essence of reality, which is the Holy Spirit, you must have lived in Christ. It is impossible for you to be able to come to a point where you know the Holy Spirit if you do not know the God. But immediately, after even you encounter the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is going to take you to a journey to know more of the Christ. Because the more the Christ you knew, we determine how much more of God is in you. And that is one of our greatest challenges because that is not what they want to teach us. Every office is an educational system of men saw in the outer world. And if he was jumping into the inner world, to begin to partake of the shoe press, he must understand the way of the Jehovah. How do we keep the elevated? Another time of life was right in your path. And at that time, your pastor, your prophet, they don't be there. But one of the greatest tools that will be required for you to be able to journey, to feed upon the Christ is when you understand the necessity for you to be able to offer yourself as a place of the And that was why. I want to begin to bring your understanding to let us understand that it is impossible for you to be able to know God and encounter God in this your own nature. Because everything about your mortality will speak about that. And for you to be able to come to a point where you have to be able to know God and encounter God, everything about your mortality must start. It is at the end of yourself that God is in Every dimension of God was sufficient enough to be to the believers for them to survive for a time. Jesus Christ was good enough to teach them. But after he left, all the apostles went back at this. They perceived them. His educational system was deficient enough to be able to let them survive in that time. Because what came after was the need for them to give expression to the reality of that which they were taught. And as of that time, they were deficient enough. And he had to let them understand that there was something that didn't need to you. It was the essence of reality. He said, The power, Tani, in Jerusalem, until you are imbued with power from on high. He let them understand that there was a system of his own education and here it has come. For them to be able to go beyond now, another spirit will have to educate them beyond now. And he said that until they die, the process of dying was a process of death. That they must come to a place where they die in themselves and offer themselves as a living sacrifice and begin the journey from the outer door into the inner door and into the Holy of Holies. And when you begin the journey into the courts of God, one of the things that you are going to encounter is the altar of incense. It is a very good place for you to remain for a while. And if you are not passing through the altar of incense, there are a lot of things in God that you will never be able to partake of. It is good enough that you partake of the reality within the outer core. Partake of the reality within the inner core. But there are much more reality in the holy of holies. And that is what two songs will tell for in the time that are come. Whether you like it or not, the best one, the strength and the revelation and the potency that requires for us to try in the time past, we need to be able to advance the common economy who must be able to survive in the time that are coming. Because darkness is advancing daily. It is only we in life that are not advancing. So we see a lot of things in the bottom of life that seem not to advance. Everybody is comfortable within the system where we have been confined to. And good as that may be is the reason why many are not able to grow in college. Is the reason why many are not be able to actualize more of God. Because no matter how you do, no matter how much you try to try, a Christian God, a time is going to come when the knowledge and the strength where which you are giving upon will not survive. And that is why on continue our daily business, you must continue and feed upon the Christ. And one of the protocols for you to feed upon the Christ is give us another sign. We must remain with you.